there have been a whole lot of talks about the Chinese influence in Central Asia these days. For example, a popular book um, recently reads that Sinostan, China's inadvertent empire, basically holding a critical view towards the Chinese influence in Central Asia, you know, as if China is taking over the Central Asia uh, sphere of influence uh, in terms of culture and economic influence. Uh, how would you characterize the Chinese influence in Central Asia? Such discourse, we uh, more now hear about it, but at the same time, uh, the, uh, from five Central Asian countries, three of them uh, the men, uh, have a common border with the China. This, uh, uh, we have this such influence more than uh, 2,000 years from time of Great Silk Road. And if we're looking to the modern time, uh, this uh, um, uh, partnership based, as I mentioned it, on the principle of uh, mutual uh, benefits, mutual trust, and mutual respect. And uh, Uzbekistan, uh, as a key participant uh, in the Central Asia plus PRC format, uh, uh, play an important role in strengthening this cooperation. And uh, that's why when we hear such discourse, certainly we should look to the result of this cooperation. If we're looking to the data, uh, our, the China now is uh, leading our trade partner, the last, uh, the last day it was uh, $9 billion uh, cooperation between two of our countries. Uh, if we take the Central Asia in whole, it, is, it, was, uh, it came to $70 billion uh, and, and more than $70 billion. That's why this cooperation is mutually beneficial.